What I've learned recently is that in growing plants in small hydroponic containers, fruit limiting will give you a accelerated path to get harvesting off small plants. Now that's not always necessary. Pepper plants, like a dwarf plant, I've shown in the past that I could literally have a hundred tiny Thai peppers on a few plants, but what about larger plants like a cucumber? Well, that's what I'd like to talk about. Let's take a look at the plant beside me here. And this cucumber plant normally grows to a larger size. It has many leaves. Outdoors, the sun is providing energy to all those leaves. The roots would be unrestricted and support the plant. However, in this small container, you have to trim the vines and limit the vines as well as the leaves because the light that is provided is 36 watts and it's not enough to provide enough light for the entire plant. So what I did was in a previous video, I showed you some tips and I will refer back to that video right now. You could just jump back by clicking the link and that will give you the tips that led up to this discovery. While looking at this topic, I am going to do a quick maintenance. I'm going to take off this branch that's coming off. There's no need to have more vegetation than what is needed. And sometimes the cucumber plants will pull nutrients off of leaves if they're not getting enough nutrients but also sometimes on tight spaces, the leaves will overshadow and start to starve the lower leaves of light. That is something else that will cause the leaves to develop abnormally or deteriorate. I'll go ahead and take off this one also. It will allow us to get a better look at what's going on with the uh, cucumbers that are in the canopy underneath here too. I had about 10 baby cucumbers that were all over the place. It's a parthenocarpic cucumber variety that sets fruit without a pollinator. So I had those all picked off because I did not have enough energy in this plant to produce 10 cucumbers at once. I left two baby cucumbers on the left and two baby cucumbers on the right. Now, what that did for me was allowed the cucumbers to go from baby to this large size very quickly. I'm gonna take this one off. This uh, cucumber developed and reached its mature size. I noticed the second cucumber on the left hand side, which let's go ahead and take that one off too, went ahead and formed, but this one did not form until the other one had matured. So the plant is intelligent and it oftentimes optimizes itself for growing conditions. The secondary babies that were on the vine are still tiny and they were the same size. And so you had two babies on this side and two babies on the other side. And as mentioned, this one formed first, then this one. And now with these no longer pulling nutrients off of the plant, the baby cucumbers are going to have the energy to start growing and maturing also. So that is the advantage of fruit limiting. What I would suggest is if you're growing a cucumber plant to grow it in a larger container. However, if you want to grow things like cucumbers, eggplants, small melon vine, this methodology can benefit you as well. And even outdoors in small containers, you could grow things such as a cantaloupe, limit it to one fruit or at most two fruits and get store quality, nice, large, round uh, fruit coming off of those. So fruit limiting can be used outdoors as well. This tip and other tips that I'll provide along with future videos should help you take advantage 
of your small garden, such as this let pot or aero gardens or other desktop hydroponic gardens.